fine. This is Sam Wuju, and today I'll be giving a tutorial on how to install, configure, and operate BSNES. BSNES includes support for five consoles, the NES, SNES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. BSNES is the best emulator for these consoles and handhelds because it offers a one-to-one -one emulation experience. So the games you run operate exactly the same as it would in their respective devices. This also means there are no bugs included in the program. Now you have a little background, let's start the tutorial. You're going to want to download BSNES. I put a link in the description on where to get the download. Simply click download right here and it will go to your downloads folder or we have it saved automatically. I already have it on my desktop so I'm not going to save again. Before you actually do anything with this file, you're going to want to need a program to unzip files that are compressed. You're going to want to put all this information from this compressed file somewhere on your computer that you'll be able to access later on. I like to save it in my solid state drive in a folder named BSNES just so I know where all the information is. Next, you're going to want to download a game you want. I provided a link in the description for almost all of the SNES games that are on Emu Paradise. There's a whole catalog you're going to get most downloaded and top rated or you can search my name. Of course, there's a search bar at the top to find the specific game you want. To install this game or put it into your Super Famicom system, you simply want to put it somewhere where you can find it later. I like to store it in the, the systems folder. So this information here is only for that program. So this is for the Super Famicom, also known as the SNES Super Nintendo Entertainment System. You're going to want to extract this uh, document here. It's going to be an SFC file. Next, you're going to go back to your BSNES folder and actually launch BSNES. Once it's here, you're going to want to go to your settings, configuration, input, and set all of your inputs for Super Famicom. Of course, you can set other inputs for the other devices here as well. But for now, we're just doing Super Famicom. Once you input all this information, you can go to advanced. The only thing I like to change here is go to input and change from raw input to direct input. Most remotes that you'll buy and use use direct input or X input. The one I have has an option for both and so I use direct input on my controller. Next when you see this pop up right here, you're going to want to change from allow input to ignore input. If you allow input, you'll maybe tab out of the game and you'll be moving around when you don't want to or if you pause emulation, there's going to be a repeating noise playing from the last second of the game when you tabbed out. So I like to do ignore input and the game will just pause or freeze in the background. It won't actually freeze, it will keep playing but nothing will actually happen. You can X out of here, go to settings and turn off synchronized video. Synchronized audio allows the game to play only with the audio in the game so that's what it will sync to. So when you basically have a little frame skip, you don't know, you have to turn off synchronized video to fix that. Synchronized video and synchronized audio are on. You're going to have a lot of jumping around when you enter through places or when you, the game has to load something. So I like to keep synchronized audio on only. When you want to play a game, you have to click to load the console you want. We're going to do Super Famicom. And I already have it here. I'm selecting the correct folder, but to find a place you can go browse, find it on your desktop. Mine, of course, is in my solid state drive emulated data, VSNES, Super Famicom, SYC, SYS, open that, click OK, and here it is, you click open, and it'll automatically start. You can use F11 to make this full screen, of course it's going to have that weird audio in right there, but I can play the game as all you want. And you can basically follow these steps again if you want to play Nintendo games, the original Nintendo, or if you want to play Game Boy or Game Boy Color games. Thanks for watching this tutorial by